On today's episode, we're going to take a stroll through one of the Cape's most unexpected places. Hello, my friends. My name is Tim Little. I am a nighttime landscape artist living on Cape Cod on the east coast of Massachusetts. And this is Cape Cod After Dark, a web series devoted to helping you find fantastic places on the Cape to visit, as illustrated through some of the photography that I have captured there. When you think of Cape Cod, you probably think of sandy beaches, lighthouses, just really picturesque scenes, right? Well, what if I told you that there was a place here on the Cape that looked like it was straight out of an episode of The Walking Dead. A neighborhood filled with abandoned houses, empty streets, telephone poles, and hanging wires. That place exists, and I only discovered it myself a few years ago. And strangely, I had photographed near it and around it a bunch of times, but I never realized that this place existed. And it is slowly disappearing. And let me tell you the brief story on this. We're talking about the North Truro Air Station in Truro, Massachusetts. It's not far from Highland Light. And if you've been to Highland Light before and you've seen off on the horizon to the south, this white golf ball looking thing, that's a radar dome. It's just behind that. It's off of a road called Dewline Road. And it is now part of the National Park Service. But it used to be a very active air station. And that had operated from about 1951 to the mid 90s, I think around 94, but since then it has been sitting empty. And of course, over time, and especially here in New England with the harsh elements and the winter season, it has really started to deteriorate. And in the most recent years, the last say two years, the National Park Service has started to demolish parts of the property. So it's really close to the cliffs. There's an erosion situation there. There's also a lot of lead paint and asbestos and all the horrible things that you really would not want to be around or near or even think about being along the national seashore. Up until just recently, this area was completely open to the public. You could park at the end of Dewline Road. There's a little parking lot there. And you could walk into one of two areas. The first area, which was the closest, which you can still see very easily, were the the barracks and the, the admin areas, including the old electrical plant and the recreational facility, which was a bowling alley, and the offices. And that's all clustered right there, straight up a main road. In fact, you could take a walking tour. There was signage. There were metal sculptures and paintings on the sides of the buildings to kind of make it an interesting place to walk through. And there was a website. You could listen to a, a, a guided, narrated tour. It was fantastic. But since then, it has now been fenced in. I made two trips recently to this location and I took a ton of video in both areas. So the uh, admin laboratory side and also the officer base housing side. And I, I find that side to be more interesting because it really does look like just this abandoned post-apocalyptic neighborhood. When in actuality, this is what happens when uh, harsh New England seasons affect a place that hasn't been maintained in, well, about 25 years. And this place only has a few years left to it. They're eliminating a lot of the houses. Uh, Every visit I've I've gone up there, I've seen more and more missing. And I suspect within the next 24 to 36 months, you'll end up just seeing a giant empty lot. And maybe they'll be able to repurpose it into walking or hiking trails or some sort of ocean scenic overlook. But any evidence of this is going to be gone. So I'm glad I was able to get up there and get what I got. So I hope you enjoy these videos. And my my purpose is to really just give you the sense of solitude there. So I'll make some commentary here and there. But you'll get to listen to the birds chirp and just listen to the wind blow and see what it's like to to be up there in this this really lonely but interesting place. Stick around after this walkthrough and you'll see a slideshow of the nighttime photography and light painting I've been able to capture at this location. Enjoy your visit to the North Truro Air Station.
So I'm on the back end of the property and as you can see the fence goes all the way along and actually cuts around and we'll be walking over there and they've, they've cleared a path around presumably to put the fence up which makes it an easy walk around. It's, it's an interesting place to see if you've never been up here before, before it disappears. When I had first come across this place back in, I'd say it was probably around 2012, I was able to look inside of some of these houses. And in one case, it looked like somebody had been living in there. There was a, a, an old blanket, some candles, there was um, um, a magazine and a calendar on the wall. And so this would be kind of an interesting place to camp out in if it weren't for the fact that the air is probably incredibly toxic inside thanks to the asbestos and probably the fiberglass and the lead paint. So it's a good thing that the fence is up here because I suspect a lot of people coming to check it out wouldn't necessarily be aware of the potential dangers inside. You can see behind me that there's uh, a flat part of the ground there, which is some old, probably some old concrete and some sand. And the reason that's there is because there used to be a house. In fact, I photographed that house, not last year, I think it was the spring before. And it was on a night where they were playing jazz nearby at the, uh, the Highland Center, which was an odd experience to be hanging around an abandoned house and be serenaded by nearby live jazz music.